appearance. Sequel to the resignation of the former head of the interim national government and commander in chief of the armed forces, Chief Anas Shoneka, and my subsequent appointment as head of state and commander in chief, I have had extensive consultations within the armed forces hierarchy and other well meaning Nigerians in a bid to find solutions to the various political, economic, and social problems which have engulfed our beloved country and which have made life most difficult to the ordinary citizens of this nation. Chief Anas Shonekan took over as head of state and commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces at the most trying time in the history of our country. Politically, economically, and socially, there were lots of uncertainties. Things appeared bleak and the atmosphere was heavy with uncertainties. However, driven by the belief in himself, his countrymen, and love for his country, he accepted to face the challenges of our time. I will therefore like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to him for his selfless service to the nation. He showed great courage at taking on the daunting task of heading the international government even a greater courage to know when to leave. Many have expressed fears about the apparent return of the military. Many have talked about the concern of the international community. However, under the present circumstances, the survival of our beloved country is far above any other consideration. Nigeria is the only country we have we must therefore solve our problems ourselves. We must lay a very solid foundation for the growth of true democracy. We should avoid any ad hoc or temporary solutions. The problems must be addressed firmly, objectively, decisively, and with all sincerity of purpose. Consequently, the following decisions come into immediate effect. The interim national government is hereby dissolved. The national and state assemblies are also dissolved. The state executive councils are dissolved. The brigade commanders are to take over from the governors in their states until administrators are appointed. Where there are no brigade commanders, the commissioners of police in the states are to take over. All local governments stand dissolved. The directors of personnel are to take over the administration of the local governments until administrators are appointed. The National Electoral Commission is hereby dissolved. All former secretaries to federal ministries are to hand over to their director generals until ministers are appointed. The two political parties are hereby dissolved. All processions political meetings and associations of any type in any part of the country are hereby banned. Any consultative committee by whatever name called is hereby prescribed. Decree 61 of 1993 is hereby abrogated. A provisional ruling council is hereby established. It will comprise the head of state, commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as chairman, the chief of general staff as vice chairman, the honorable minister of defense, the chief of defense staff, service chiefs, the inspector general of police, the attorney general and minister of justice, the internal affairs minister, the foreign affairs minister, and the national security advisor legislative powers will reside in the council. States will be governed by civilian administrators to be appointed later. Also a federal executive council will be put in place. Our security system will be enhanced to ensure that lives of citizens, property of individuals are protected and preserved. Drugs trafficking and other economic crimes such as 419 must be tackled and eliminated.
on the current strikes throughout the nation, following the increase in the price of oil, I appeal to all the trade unions to return to work immediately. We cannot afford further dislocation and destruction of our economy. On the closed media houses, government is hereby lifting the order of prescription with immediate effect. We, however, appeal to the media houses that in this spirit of national reconciliation, we should show more restraint and build a united and peaceful Nigeria. Fellow Nigerians, the events of the past month, starting from the annulment of the June 12 presidential election, culminating in the appointment of the former head of state, Chief Anna Shanekan, are well known to you. The economic downturn has undoubtedly been aggravated by the ongoing political crisis. We require well thought out and permanent solution to these problems if we are to emerge stronger from them. Consequently, a constitutional conference with full constituent powers will be established soon to determine the future constitutional structure of Nigeria. The constitutional conference will also recommend the method of forming parties which will lead to the ultimate recognition of political parties formed by the people. While the conference is on, the reorganization and reform of the following major institutions will be carried out. The military, the police, the customs, the judiciary, NITEL, NNPC, NEPA, the banking industry, and our higher institutions of learning. This regime will be firm, humane, and decisive. We will not condone nor tolerate any act of indiscipline. Any attempt to test our will will be decisively dealt with. For the international community, we add that you suspend judgment while we grapple with the onerous task of nation building, reconciliation,